Hey, it's Tina Polish, your functional health coach. Would you invest in an air filter for mold illness knowing that it could help speed up your healing? Mold is everywhere. It does actually help clean up our world from debris and turn it into nutrients needed for life, but certain species of it are toxic and tend to creep into our homes, often through water damage or a lack of, or a lack of moisture control. So, as you may know, with mold illness, you need to do all that you can to keep your indoor environment clean from molds and mold mycotoxins after all. You can't get well in the environment that made you sick. Um, once your indoor world is as clean and free of mold as you can get it, you need to keep it free of those mold my and mycotoxins too. As a practitioner and in dealing with my own mold illness, I recommend using an air purifier, especially in your sleeping area. Before we talk about the benefits of an air purifier, let's um, better understand mold mycotoxins, the invisible particles that are damaging your health. How do mold and mycotoxins get into your body? Have you ever seen on a sunny day the particles floating in the air where the sun is shining through the window? Those are particles you can see. Those are also even smaller particles than you can see that are floating on those particles. In fact, you cannot see about 95% of the particles in the air. But you can certainly breathe in those tiny invisible ultrafine or nanoparticles. Then they get lodged deep in your lungs. Mold spores specifically range from 3 to 5 microns in size, but mold mycotoxins are about 50 times smaller and can penetrate deeply into your lungs and then into your bloodstream. And then once they're in your bloodstream, they can go anywhere in your body. Besides inhaling mold mycotoxins, you can also ingest them or consume them to get them into your intestinal tract. The mycotoxins tend to cause leaky gut and get into your bloodstream from there as well. When you run a high quality air purifier for mold mycotoxin control, you reduce your exposure to toxic molds. Air purifiers also remove other unhealthy particles from your environment. When healing from mold illness, is especially mindful of three kinds of um, indoor pollutants. Uh, particulates, VOCs or volatile organic compounds, and um, bioaerosols. Particulates range in size from ultra-fine, you can't see them with the naked eye, to large, which may be seen with the naked eye or only when the sun is shining through the window. Larger particles include things like sand dust, fire, and um, diesel smoke. Ultrafine particles are only developed through combustion processes like wood fires, industries, um, cigarette smoke, things like that. Uh, because a lot of the ultrafine particles exist, your lungs have a harder time dealing with them. The ultrafine particles can go deep into your lungs and create inflammation. Smaller than mold spores, VOCs, um, volatile organic compounds include gassy substances like chemicals, cleaning products, fragrances, and paints. Bioaerosols are a subcategory of particles that float on the larger particles in the air, getting easier access into your body. They include things like mold, bacteria, viruses, and pollen. If you suffer from mold illness, all of these pollutants can cause problems. Exhaust smoke can kill. Just regular particles can cause asthma attacks, lung cancer, and general dysfunction of your lungs. VOCs can cause eye, nose, and throat ir irritation, and they can also cause shortness of breath, headaches, nausea, and dizziness. If enough of them get into your lungs, they can cause damage to your lungs, liver, kidneys, or central nervous system. The list of possible damage goes on because these are small enough to get almost anywhere. If you have mold illness, you know the damage that the bioaerosol um, of mold mycotoxins can do to you. You may experience breathing problems, gut issues, eye problems, brain problems, nerve issues, bladder issues, fatigue and weakness, and so much more. However, 
If you get an air purifier for mold mycotoxin control in your home, especially in your bedroom, you can lessen the chronic attack on your body. You may even be able to heal better. So how do you choose a good air purifier? You can choose um, from many good air purifiers nowadays, including HEPA, ULPA, ionizers, and others. The main quality that you need to look for is that the air purifier filters out microns as small as 0.3, because this is the typical size of mold mycotoxin. To choose a good air purifier for uh, mold illness recovery, number one, pick a particle count, buy a, get, get a particle counter, and check out your, your air purifier that you want to buy. Two, see what part the particle count is going into the air purifier and what it is coming out of the air purifier. And three, find out how many times per hour the air purifier cleans the space. And four, make sure that it is sized for the area that you'll be using it in. At the time of the writing of this blog, um, I had an um, air oasis but you never need to change the filter on it. It just needs to be cleaned once a year um, around it, you know, on it, in it, within it. Um, so, but it ionizes the air, which means that it changes the electrical charge in your air. When ionized, the particles um, become too heavy to stay in the air and consequently fall to the ground where you can vacuum or dust them up. Plus, they claim not to put out ozone, other, um, another layer of toxins that hinder your lung health. The next air purifier I want to get, and I just got it not too long ago, was the IntelliPure, which will clean your area completely once, once per hour, Cons assuming that you get one that's properly sized for the space that you want to use it in. It uses multiple filters and electricity to kill and capture those mold mycotoxins so that you, don't, that you don't want in your body and therefore in your home. The filters are easy to change and the air coming out of them is 99.99% .99 clean. The IntelliPure air purifier even removes viruses from your environment. When you remove as many toxins as you can from your environment and body, your body will spend the newfound energy to help your body heal more quickly. This is why investing in a good air purifier makes a no-brainer first step in improving your environment. But it will not take the place of remediating your home. So that's all I have for you today, and I will see you next week. Bye.